Chicago police releasing this sketch of a man wanted in connection with the sexual assault of a girl on her way home from school. Meanwhile, community activists are demanding answers. They want to know how it happened, especially near a safe passage route. WGN's Sean Lewis is live for us at the 3rd District Police Station with more. Sean? Yeah, Ben and Lourdes, our Chicago police source is telling us that earlier today a man was taken into custody, questioned in regard to what happened last week. He was later released. That means that Chicago police at this hour continue to look for the man responsible for last week's crime. On a day off of school, the community renewed its call to find a child predator. We should be looking for this guy. A thousand men should be looking for him to make sure he gets taken off the streets because he could have murdered that young girl. The attack happened Thursday afternoon as the girl walked home from school in the 6200 block of South Indiana, just a block and a half away from Dulles Elementary. Chicago police say the man came up behind that 11 year old girl, put his hand over her mouth and brought her into a secluded area of the alley where where he sexually abused her. She was eventually able to get away. It's time for our community to unify once and for all, focus on this young lady, make sure she gets the help she needs. Community activists want to know why that girl did not have help as it was just steps away from the safe passage corridor set up along 63rd Street. You should have been out here protecting this young girl. We cannot tolerate this nonsense, this level of violation to take place in our community. Black girls' lives matter. And we've been in the community a very, very long time. Jennifer Maddox is a retired CPD officer and now runs Future Ties that offers help to parents and students on safety issues. We assist the crossing guard because this is a really busy intersection, and so we make sure that the kids are getting across the street safely. Well, the suspect being described as a black man between 45 and 60 years old, 5 foot 11, with a thin build and graying hair. Police say that at the time of this last Thursday afternoon, he was wearing a black shirt, black jeans, and a silver belt buckle with black work boots. You can call Chicago police detectives if you have any information on who that man might be. So far, there is a $4,000 reward being offered for the apprehension and conviction of the person responsible. For now, that is the latest here live on the South Side. Sean Lewis, WGN News.